Uh, hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mission Double back with another video, and I'm finally back after a week of no videos. I'm really sorry. I've just been binging on GTA 5 because, you know, it's amazing. Uh, but let's get started. Uh, I decided to sit down and make myself an intro, and I made this really cool galaxy-looking intro. It's really simple to make. Uh, you will have to download uh, a file that I made, uh, so don't worry about viruses or anything because I'm pretty trustworthy, I guess. Uh, but, oh, that's too big. I'm going to have to convert the file to a smaller file size, but assume that the file size is going to be maybe, I don't know, like 50 megabytes, 100 megabytes at max. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. You will also need these two images, which I included in the description below. Uh, this one looks like, I just double click, this one looks like this, the top side of a galaxy. And this one is a, st is a starry background. That's pretty much all you need. Uh, this is going to work on Sony Vegas uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I'm not sure about 7 or anything older because I haven't used anything older than 8. Uh, so how about we get started? I hope you guys enjoy the koala, but I'm going to have to, you know, move them. Oh, let me show you the intro first. Uh, right here. It looks pretty cool. Uh, really easy to make, but looks very high class. Uh, so if it loads up, that will be freaking awesome. Uh, okay, there you go. Ooh, lag. As you can see, the particles are coming out like that. The galaxy is spinning. Uh, and then your name pops up. It's really neat, so yeah, let's get started. There you go, it's a 3D looking intro. Alrighty then, let's make this. Uh, so just insert five or four video tracks, I don't know the exact number, but I just uh, winged it. First things first, you're gonna wanna include the night sky background, uh, which is just the stars in the background. Uh, drag that to the l bottomest layer, and it should look like this. Sorry if you hear my bird, he does this a lot. Anyways. Uh, right click on the starry background, go to properties, and then go to maintain aspect ratio and uncheck it. Uh, disable resample is always a good option too, so there you go. And bam, that covers the whole screen, you're going to have a nice background. Uh, next, what you want to include is our galaxy. Uh, the galaxy image is, I think, the HJR one, pretty sure. Uh, yeah, put that on there. Likes. Oh, no, god dang, that's a GTA 5 map. Sorry. Uh, oh, no, what is going on? leave okay sorry about that guys the center galaxy of cat's eye is the name of the image so put that on there like it should load up any second now i don't know my computer's been really laggy over like the past i don't know like a couple of weeks it's really making me mad uh, so here's our galaxy before we even do anything uh, go on this button right here and click add this is going to remove the background stuff now what you want to do is you want to go to pan cropped and you can right click and go to pan cropped or you can just click this little uh, you know square button so click that Ooh, there's something on the computer there's definitely something wrong here I don't know what but it's something it really make me mad and my last video was really laggy too okay so now once we're here go to mask like so and now what you want to do is select the oval tool now, if you're in an older Sony Vegas, you can just, uh, you know, just wing it, um, you know, freehand the circle. But, for example, this is what I mean. Just, like, freehand the circle in any older Sony Vegas. It'll be fine. Uh, let's just remove these. Uh, okay, there you go. Uh, click on here. And what we want to do is we want to make a nice little oval and center it on the galaxy like so. Now, we want to move it around a little bit. We'll make a nice circle. Nothing, not like, a, not like an oval. You really want, to, want it to be a circle. Uh, hold on. Okay, that's nice. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the feather type, go to both, and feather it a couple of times. I don't know the exact number, so I'm just going to click it multiple times, and hopefully it does the right thing. There you go. This is really nice looking. So feather it to 31 uh, on both, and this is what it should look like. Now we're pretty much done with this, but before we get finished all the way, uh, go to the position drag this uh, timeline all the way to the end oh no wait hold on hold on stay in the beginning first uh, zoom out a little bit make sure these two are selected and then uh, zoom out a little bit of the galaxy it should be about uh, like it should be about this size uh, now what you want to do is drag the timeline all the way to the end and then slowly add a really slow spin uh, so just just spin until it's like so that's all you really need for the spin and now right click on your keyframe that you just made right over here and go to smooth now you're pretty much done so if we watch this right now what the galaxy will be doing the galaxy will be spinning so there you go 
it's spinning very slowly and laggy. So here you go. As you can see, the guy's still spinning. It's real nice. One thing I just noticed is that look at this side. It's way too sharp. So how about we go back to our pancraft, go to our mask, and lower this. Uh, push this in a little. Push everything in a little bit, so we can make the whole thing smaller. Ooh, stop being difficult, Sony Vegas. Come on, I'm making a video here. Okay. There you go. I'm making the whole thing smaller, just a little bit because these edges are too sharp go to position now everything should be fixed but it's not getting fixed what is this hmm I'm having a dilemma while I'm recording which is terrible uh, so how about I just lower this in a lot more there you go perfecto now it's gone awesome now we're perfect. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry for the little sidetrack. But it's nice and smooth looking. One thing I just noticed, if you notice in the bottom left corner, bottom right corner of the star image, you have something here. Uh, it's, hold on, let's see. What, oh, no, god dang it. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry about this. I'm messing up. I, I haven't done an intro for a while, so forgive me. But if you guys look right here, it says something. Uh, we could easily remove that. Just unclick all of these. Uh, what's going on? Zoom out. Let's drag it up a little bit. It's going to automatically adjust and remove the words that are at the bottom right corner. What's going on? Why is this lighting up? 100. What did this import? Okay, whatever. Sony Vegas is acting weird. Now that we have this, we want to make this 3D. We're going to add a tilt. So basically what you just did is that you made it spin. Now we're going to make it spin in a 3D rotation. So in order to do that, make sure everything is stable. And then go to... Hold on. What's this say? Go to the track motion button. It should look like this. Uh, click on that. And now you're going to be here. Uh, now go to the top left corner over here and go to 3D Source Alpha. Now it's going to be like this. What you want to do is you want to move this to the right a little bit. And now you're going to watch this and you're, we're going to make it tilt a little bit back. Not too much back. Not flat Not flat like this. But a little, little bit tilt so we could see more of it. That's a bit too much. This is a really nice tilt. Uh, if you guys really want to, you could be very delicate and slowly increase a little bit more, but I'm going to stick with this. Okay, now that we have this, uh, our galaxy needs a little bit of color correction. In order to do that, we're going to go to Video Effects and Color Curves. Uh, go to the default one right here and put that on to the galaxy image. Hopefully it loads up quickly. There you go. Uh, so just make a nice little curve. Just follow me. Make sure it's RGB. Uh, and lower this down all the way like this. As you can see, it makes uh, everything darker. Uh, that's a bit too dark for me, so we're going to go like this. Okay, now we're going to increase our lights. So increase it like so. Uh, there you go. Lower this back to where it was. And this to where it should be. And there you go. Now our galaxy has some nice color correction to it. Uh, it is dark in the dark areas and then light in the light areas. So now if we look at our image, this is what we have. It's slowly spinning. This should be at auto. There you go. So it's slowly spinning, as you guys can see. It looks really nice. Now what we want is our optical flare. So if we go to explore, and we go to the center galaxy flare, we can just put that right on top of our galaxy image. And there you go. It looks like that. Uh, make sure you go to this uh, little button right here, the compositing mode, and click add for the flare. And what that does is it removes the blacks in the background. So now you have this really nice shiny image going on. Okay, after this, uh, before we go forward, let's uh, extend our clips so that they match up with the optical flare length. Uh, in order to extend this, uh, in order to extend our galaxy without causing uh, it to like relapse, uh, go to the edge like this and hold control and then drag it like this. Now that's going to slow down the whole spinning process. I'm, galaxy spins slow, so that's okay. Now that we're done with that, what we need to add is our little particles that are coming towards the screen. To add that, uh, go to the particles towards camera, AVI. Now, it's not going to be AVI for you, it's, it's AVI for me. And put that on top of, not on top, this is actually messed up. Uh, but let's just put it on top for now on the optical flare. That's how it's going to look. Uh, go to the compositing mode for the particles also and click on add. Now it's going to be like this. Now I really want the particles uh, to be behind the optical flare. Uh, so actually, you know what? I don't want that to be happening. It looks nice right now. 
that looks nice it's acceptable so it's very cool looking so if we watch it slowly right now we can see that our particles come towards the camera like so and the galaxy is slowly spinning now we need to add two more things and that is our fog and our uh, our text so if we right click on here again and we go to video insert video track uh, it's going to insert a video track on top of everything now go to media generators and go to noise texture click on that uh, go to the plasma right over here and put it right on top of our particles uh, now that it's like this uh, go to the pink purple whatever you want to call it click on it and uh, decrease the opacity all the way to zero so it should look like this now you can't change the color of our fog but I'm gonna keep it like this uh, but it's a bit too strong so let's hold on before we do that let's make sure the time is off correct uh, let's uh, decrease the opacity decrease uh, to decrease the opacity I'll uh, just go on top of here and lower it down to uh, you have to lower it a lot in order for this to look nice uh, so keep it at 10 percent 10 percent is really nice not too much not too little uh, now we're pretty much done the last thing we need to add is our text so right click on here go to insert video track and then right click again on the new video track and go to insert text media uh, should load up any second now hopefully it doesn't crash I really hope it doesn't crash that will be really unfortunate I've come too far uh, uh. alright guys I'll pause it because Sony Vegas is being really buggy for me okay it opened up right over here uh, now you can really insert whatever you want just type in for me I'm just gonna type in Mr. Jobble uh, now the kind of font you're gonna want you you're gonna want a font that has like thick letters because uh, thick is a lot better that's what she said uh, so let's just do anything we want at all uh, the reason we want a uh, thick font is because uh, a bold font I guess is because we need to make sure that it's easily viewable the background I don't really know what a nice font would be uh, go to Okay, this is for example purposes. I don't really like the way this looks, but oh well. Uh, so, before we go anywhere, go to text color, click on that, and make sure the opacity is at zero. There you go. Now go to the advanced settings, and go to the background. And then it increases all the way to 100% black. And this is what it should look like. Now, as you can see, our length of our uh, clip, for our text clip, is like about half the length of our video. And if it's not, uh, make sure you go about the half length of all the footage and decrease it like this. So it's only at the half end of the video. Now that's like this, now that it's like this, go to the pan crop. You can either right click and go to it or you can just click on this right over here. Now that we're on here, make sure the key for the time thingy is all the way to the left and zoom in a lot. Okay guys, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to zoom in on this U part that's completely empty like so. Uh, if your if your text does not have a spot like this, a spot where it zooms directly into a letter, make sure you adjust it a little bit to the left and right. It's not gonna be too noticeable, uh, but yeah. So first things first, we're gonna zoom in all the way. Make sure these two are selected though, because this is really important. Now zoom in all the way. Now if you zoom in a little bit more like this, you have an easier time of going straight into the letter. Okay, so now we are in the letter. So all the person sees is uh, this uh, image. So now drag this all the way to the end, the timeline, all the way to the end, and zoom back in. And now we're going to pull this thing out. So let's go, pull it out. Uh, that's what she said. Uh, now just go like this, and make sure you just bring it up to the black blackness. And there you go. We are done, people. Uh, this is all you really have to do. So if we watch this over again, it looks exactly the same. We're going to have a hard time watching it, so I'm just going to keyframe it. As you can see, a particles come out of nowhere. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, and then our text starts to zoom out so you can actually see our text. And yeah, that's pretty much done, guys. Oh, shit, that looks bad. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry I said shit, too. Uh, we're going to go back. We're going to fix this because I don't like the way it looks. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you don't go out too much. We're going to have to zoom back in here. God damn it. Okay. Oops. Sorry I said that too. 
Uh, we're gonna go back to our beginning, and we're gonna zoom out again because I messed up. You probably did it correctly, but let's zoom out a little bit now, slowly. Our font is a little too big, don't you think? And bam, now we are done. Ah, uh, if you really, if you had, a, if you had it a little bit, if you did it roughly, I'll just right-click on the keyframe that you just made and go to smooth. It's gonna smooth out the animation. So now, if we watch this, uh, we can see it's cool spinning. The particles come out of nowhere. They're coming towards the camera, and then your text starts to come in right now when you zoom out. Uh, there you go. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys subscribe and leave a like. Uh, make sure you leave a comment too. I do read them all. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all. I want to thank you for watching again. And yeah, that's all. Uh, goodbye.